Yeah, so we are making a TikTok recipe today. I needed to try it for myself. Like I need to know if it's actually good. It's the baked feta pasta. If you have not seen this on TikTok or anywhere else on the internet yet, then it is honestly a fairly simple recipe. I'm gonna be adding some of my own ingredients to it to make it probably better. But today we're gonna find out if it's actually good and worth your time making. <laughs> so all we're gonna need are cherry tomatoes, a chunk of feta cheese, some basil, which, uh, my delivery person brought me like dead basil. Garlic, oregano, and really any type of pasta that you want to use. I'm using farfalle because I like the bow ties. And I'm also going to be adding in my own two ingredients that I think might make it a little bit better. Red pepper flakes and some lemon. So let's get started. I'm so excited and I'm so fun. Hungry. I'm eating this for dinner tonight. We need to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Next, I need to pick all of these tomatoes off the little stems. I'm gonna put them in here because I want to wash them. Ooh. Oh my god. I'm gonna rinse these off really quick. Okay, so again, this recipe is really easy. You just Go like that. We are going to be taking olive oil, salt, and pepper and putting all of those things in here with these tomatoes. Oh, shit. Uh, I forgot. We're also adding oregano. Mix this all together to make sure that all of these tomatoes are coated. Next, we're gonna take our chunk of feta. That's right, this whole chunk. And we're just gonna put it in the middle of the tomatoes. Like, wow, this is perfect, actually. Like, this is the perfect amount of tomatoes. And then we're gonna take the olive oil and really put a bunch on the top here. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I spilled the salt. So my left shoulder. On top of this feta block, we're gonna be adding a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper, a little bit more oregano. I'm also gonna be adding a lot of red pepper flakes because I want mine to be spicy. And I mean, that's pretty much the that on that. This is all gonna be going into the oven for 30 minutes. It cooks for a while, but we still have some other things to do while it's in the oven. We're gonna cut some stuff up, including this garlic, this lemon, and this basil. First things first, let me figure out which one of these basils is even living right now. They're all fucking dead. Like, what? Um, they're wilted as fuck. You guys, they're like all dead. I literally, I feel like I'm a botanist or something right now. Okay, I think this is the best I can do, this little stack. Then I'm gonna take a couple cloves of garlic here. I have like four and we're gonna mince them. Okay, and then the final thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna cut this lemon in half because I'm only gonna use half of it. Hmm, why does it smell like a I'm not kidding, this literally smells like a clementine. Is this a lemon? Dude, I don't, whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna zest it. Okay, I think that is fine. And then we're also gonna be saving this because I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon juice in as well. And there's actually 15 minutes left on my timer right now, which is probably the perfect time to start boiling water so we can cook this pasta. this I should make. Maybe two cups? I don't know. You guys, I really did just see this on TikTok and I'm like making it from memory. The water's boiling, so I'm gonna add my pasta. And you know what? I'm gonna add another cup. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
That was the timer for the tomatoes and the cheese. I'm gonna make some space over here. Oh my God. Oh my God. It literally looks beautiful. I'm freaking out. We're gonna take a fork and start mashing everything up. Oh my God. And then we're gonna throw in the garlic the lemon peels. I'm gonna squeeze in some lemon and just keep mixing this all together. Perfect timing. We're gonna get the pasta and strain it. And just dump this right in here. And mix. Oh my God, this came out so perfectly. It looks amazing. Now that everything is all mixed, final steps, just add in the basil. Okay guys, wow. I am like thoroughly impressed with myself. This looks so good. Hopefully you can see it. Thumbnail. So now it's time for the moment of truth. We're gonna try this and see if it's worth the hype. I'm just gonna mix in the basil and then we're gonna try it. Hopefully it is worth the hype because this is what I'm eating for dinner tonight. I'm gonna get like a little bit of everything. Oh my God, it's steaming. Wow, this is actually so good. I'm freaking out. Oh my God, the lemon that I added is so good. It's a really good addition. So if you're thinking about trying this recipe. Okay, so like I said, I'm eating this for dinner tonight. So that's the end of this video. My final notes. This is really good, it was really easy to make, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up, it really helps out my channel. Also, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys enjoy cooking videos from me, and if you do, what do you want me to make next? And yeah, I think that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next Saturday with another new video. Bye.